out soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Cause the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and... Get well soon. Hello, my name's Dr. Range and welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Oh, good. Someone isn't feeling well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. It's Petal. With buttons and bangles, the jangalas I hop. When I'm having so much fun, it's hard for me to stop. Twirling, twisting, when I'm singing any song I choose. Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes. Twirling, twisting, when I'm singing any song I choose. Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes. Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes. Woo! Hello, Petal. How are you feeling? Oh, hello, Dr. Ranch. Uh, I'm feeling fine. I'm very pleased to hear that. So, how can I help you today? Well, it's not really anything, except, well, I've got this little black spot on my foot. Ah. And my brother says it's a pixie pimple. You don't think it could be a pixie pimple, do you, Dr. Ranch? No, I'm sure it isn't. I think your brother might have made that up. Would you like me to take a look? Yes, yes! Was quick. Now let's have a look. <laughs> oh, that tickles. I, I thought it was just a bit of dirt, but then it wouldn't come off. Does it hurt? No, it, it doesn't hurt at all. Well, Petal, it's not dirt. No? What is it? Well, sometimes a germ can get into your foot. A germ? It's like a tiny, tiny little bug. A bug? Let me show you. Imagine this is a bug. They don't really look like this. They're so very tiny, you can't really see them. But when a bug or a germ finds a place it likes, it starts to spread out. And soon, there's a whole lot of them in a big gang of bugs. A gang of bugs? In my foot? Wow! Or kind of. The bugs make a lump of rough skin. My spot? That's right. They make a spot, and when you walk on it, or run on it... Or dance on it. I love dancing. <laughs> or dance on it. It presses the rough lump into your foot and that makes the kind of spot that you've got. It's called a veruca. Veruca! A super veruca! <laughs> um, can you make it go away? Don't worry, verucas don't hurt you and they usually go away on their own. When? Well, it might take quite a while. Sometimes verucas go after a few weeks, but sometimes they hang about for a whole year. A whole year? That's forever! Well, with luck, yours will go sooner than that. Oh, Dr. Ranch, how did the gang of bugs get in my foot? Now, that's a good question. You might have caught it from someone else. Do you ever go swimming? Oh, yes. I love swimming. I'm really good. I have a sticky foot. Wow, a certificate. This certifies that Petra can swim ten metres. Yes, I swam a whole width without armbands. <laughs> Very good. Mm. Did you know Veruca germs like to live in nice, warm, damp places? Like at the swimming pool. Exactly. Oh. Probably someone at swimming had a veruca and you caught it from them. So does that mean I can't go swimming in case someone catches a veruca from me? Well, actually, you can go swimming, but you have to wear a swimming sock like this. <laughs> a sock for swimming? <laughs> You're funny. You can't swim in socks. <laughs> no, it's true. You can. You're making it up. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't we have a word with Nurse Morag? Perhaps the healthy helpers can show you why you should wear a swim sock. Yes, yes! Switch it on and off we go. Hello, Nurse Morag. Oh. 
I do believe that's Petal. Yes, yes, it's me, Petal. <laughs> and how can I help you today? Well, Nurse Morag, Dr Ranch, he's very funny. He says I have to wear a sock to go swimming. Ah, oh, have you got a veruca? Yes, yes, I have. You're so clever. How do you know? Because people that have verrucas need to wear socks to go swimming. Really? But why? Ah, now that's a good question. I think I'll need to ask my healthy helpers. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Give me questions, catch and through. Healthy helpers will show and tell how you can keep fit and well. Awesome, catch yes. that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Awesome, Give me yes. questions, catch and through. Awesome, healthy yes. helpers will show and tell awesome, how yes. you can keep fit and well. Show and tell Ask how you can keep fit and well. Ask me what you need to know. Give me questions, catch and throw. Today I'm in London and my healthy helpers are. Hello, my name is Victoria and I like horse riding and ice skating. Hello, my name is Isaac and I love swimming. Hello, my name is Eunice and I love going swimming and going to cinemas. Hello, my name's Mark, and I love going to the beach. Hey, guys. This looks like good fun. Now, who can tell me who here has had a veruca on their foot? You have, Lucia. Tell me all about it. You, you, I've had one on my hand and my foot, but you have to have this special um, sock on it and a special glove on your hand. Wow, and why is that? Because it spreads out on the, it spreads out in the water. Oh, so that's why you had to wear the sock. I see. And who else has had a veruca? And yeah. what happened when you had a veruca? I had to wear this special sock at swimming. And why was that? So that it wouldn't spread everywhere around the water. That's right, because verrucas are caused by viruses and they're very, very infectious, which means they can spread from one person to another person really easily. And that's why we wear a special thing called a veruca sock. Now, you girls had one, didn't you, when you had your verrucas? Yeah. Yeah, and did it work? Yeah. yeah. Shall we play a game to show everyone what we're talking about? Yeah! OK, guys, come on this way. All our healthy helpers have lovely, clean feet, and that's great. And the bugs that cause the verrucas are called viruses. And that's what we have in the tray here, is the verruca virus. But you don't need to worry, because it's just pretend it's only green paint. Now, this big sheet of paper is the edge of a swimming pool, and it's the perfect conditions for the verruca virus to grow and spread. So, what we're going to do is have our healthy helper, Lucia, Put her feet into the green paint and take a walk round the edge of the swimming pool. Off you go then. OK. Oh, it's a bit slidey. What have we got left at the side of the swimming pool? But all the virus. Now, what do you think would happen if the rest of you guys were to go down and take a walk round the pool? Let's find out. Well done. Everyone walk round the sides. Oh, careful. Don't fall in the pool. That's enough. OK, guys. Make your way back and come and jump up on the table. Right, let's see those feet. My goodness, every one of you is covered in green paint. And this shows you how easily the virus can spread from person to person. Now, Lucia is still pretending to have the Veruca virus, but this time she's going to wear a Veruca sock so she doesn't give the virus to anyone else. So, you pop this on. That's it. It can be a wee bit tight going on. Well done. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to hop down and run round the swimming pool just like you did before. OK? Off you go. 
and the rest of you guys, go join in as well. Come on, Isaac. Excellent. Oh, you walk right round it. OK. Right, everyone, back up. Let's have a look, see what's happened. Let me see those tootsies. Oh, and everyone has clean feet. So because Lucia has worn her swimming sock, it means that the Veruca virus hasn't spread to the other children. So you see, Petal, if you've got a Veruca and you want to go swimming, wear your swimming sock and then you won't spread it to anyone else. Yeah. Get well soon, Petal! Thank you. Bye, healthy helpers. Thanks. See you soon, Nurse Morag. Bye for now. So, a swimming sock keeps your Veruca germs tucked safely inside so they can't get out. Exactly. So then you won't spread your Veruca to anyone else. I don't want to do that, Dr Range. No, you don't. Have you got a super Veruca too, Dr Range? Not right now, but I have a sock just in case I get one. Here's a treatment I recommend for you. I'm going to give this cream to your mum to put in your Veruca to help it go away faster. Oh yes, make it go fast. And until it's gone, you must wear a sock every time you go swimming. You can get one from the chemist with your mum. Perhaps I can get a sparkly golden one. Now that would be cool, Petal. Why is my foot sore, Dr Raj? Your foot's on the ground, then the germ gets in. Mm -hmm. Makes a Veruca grow up on your skin. Oh. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. It's just a Veruca, just a little lump. Ouch. A rough and ouch skin makes a tiny ouchy bump. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. Splashing in the shower or going for a swim. Putting on the sock keeps that germ safely That's in. Good. A striped piece sock keeps the germs away from all your friends. So go ahead and play. Yeah, to stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. Yeah. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. It's a germ that loves to live on feet. Every foot without a sock gives a germ a little treat. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. Great. I'm glad I can go swimming now. I'm going to wear my super Veruca sock and not share my Veruca with anybody. And before too long, your Veruca will have disappeared. And then no one will have one, not even me. Exactly. Now it's time to be on your way. Thank you for coming to see me today, Petal. Before you go... Brilliant! Thank you. I, I won't take it swimming with me because I don't want it to get wet. Bye-bye, Dr Ange. Bye, Petal. Get well soon. And it was good to have you with us too. Why don't you join us again next time when we'll be helping someone else feel better? Until then, be happy, be healthy. Oh, I'd better get this off. If you're not feeling well, it's always best to go and see your own doctor and get well soon.